Hello friends, this is Shashank and you are watching my channel Meenakshi Todurdi. Now Shashank Tutorials, I may change the uh, name again. That was a small problem. Okay, now introduction to kinematics. Okay, so kinematics is a very nice topic in physics. So it deals about motion. It deals the beauty of motion. So it will be very nice. Now, so today we will have the brief introduction and we will uh, see some technical terms in kinematics. So kinematics very important. It does not deal with the cause of motion. It it is not dealing with the cause of motion. It is only dealing with the motion. How is the motion happening? It doesn't see how. It is seeing why. Sorry, it is saying how, but it is not saying why. So this is what actually is kinematics. Now rest and motion. This I think uh, most of you people may know that rest is not moving uh, with respect to its surroundings and motion is uh, not moving with respect to its surroundings. So very nice and very easy. Yeah, rest and motion. Now um, uh, I have an example here. There is there are. Yeah, I'm sorry. One minute. So there are. Uh, two persons in this black car and one person in the white car now uh, both are moving in the same direction now he is moving with at a greater speed and he at some lower speed now when this guy looks at he uh, these both guys then both are in motion yeah both are in motion uh, so when these both also look at this guy he is in motion now when this guy looks at this guy or Let's assume another uh, person in this car. When this guy looks at this guy, both say that they both are at rest and vice versa. Now, the same person can be at motion and can be at rest. This completely depends on how we look at them. So, this is what actually is called frame of reference. Okay. Now, let's discuss about scalars and vectors. Scalars and vectors are uh, very important quantities which uh, everyone should know about. Okay, now let's go into. We'll come across and use two different kinds of measurements as we study in physics. The scalars and the vectors. Now, because these two measurements have fundamental differences, we must be able to distinguish between them very important and follow different rules while using them okay so uh, this is what uh, some introduction about scalars and vectors now scalars scalar quantities scalar measurements tell us only the magnitude of the quantity that is being measured means scalar quantities are the quantities which have only magnitude and we don't define direction to them like uh, this uh, object is 2 kg we say that's it but we don't say that this object is 2 kg in north 2 kg in south 3 kg in west not like that right so 2 kg is 2 kg so this says only magnitude the quantity the amount or quantity present in this like how many so to be precise the scalars say how many okay so this is what actually is about scalars now for example uh, 5 meters, 10 seconds, 100 kilometer per hour. So this is very normal. Now, the symbols used to denote scalars are usually letters. The S, the T, and the V. Scalars can be added, subtracted, multiplied, or divided, etc. Just as regular numbers. We treat scalars as regular numbers. So we can treat scalars as regular numbers like 1 plus 1 2 plus 2 we can treat them like regular numbers and do regular operations vector quantities or vector measurements tell us the magnitude of the quantity being measured and the direction over which it is measured so vectors say magnitude and also the direction i went two meters in the east so this is what actually is displacement. So that is a vector, a vector quantity. I applied three Newton force in the north direction. So uh, these are all vector quantities where we define even the direction for them. Okay. Vector numbers tell us how many and where. So they are discuss, uh, discussing even about direction and the uh, magnitude. Okay. Now example. 
5 meters in the left so this is called displacement in vector quantity when we measure vector quantities like i am measuring a vector quantity a i keep a bar on that a arrow symbol on this so this represents that it is a vector like here yeah and 100 km per hour in the east then it is called velocity we will discuss about this more and more in the coming slides now these symbols uh, used to denote vectors are usually letters with a small arrow above them so this is what actually is about vectors we have uh, some important disclaimer even about vectors vectors can be added subtracted divided etc but we must modify the process used according to the direction attached to the quantity so uh, we have some special rules the uh, laws of vector algebra to do such operations on vectors you can't treat vectors like regular numbers so this is very 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 important you can't treat vectors as regular numbers now introduction to kinematics before we can hope to understand the physics of the moving world we need to define some important terms used in this branch of physics so the branch of physics that deals with motion is called kinematics so this is the introduction of motion so this is the branch which deals with the um, motion the motion of the body is called kinematics it appears to obey some very simple rules this appears to obey some very simple rules but that can be summarized in the form of mathematical equations so before we can understand and use these rules we need to be able to measure and define a few fundamental quantities so let's discuss about these fundamental quantities in the coming video so that include yeah one minute one minute yeah that include distance and displacement yeah and some include so uh, we will discuss about this more in the coming sessions okay thank you have a nice day